Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. I was requested by a few of you guys to make more KWGT tutorial videos. So I thought, for those of you looking for step by step guides and advice, I would make a mini series just for you, each episode building on top of the last. I'll be showing you how to customize your KWGT widgets, as well as how to create your own from scratch. So if you like this type of video and want to see more in the series, make sure you like and subscribe to show your interest. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any video requests or suggestions. So here we are with episode 5 in the series. This time we're going to be looking at music widgets. Specifically, I'm going to be covering these 4 unique KWGT widgets and how you can build them from the ground up. But before we get started, make sure you check out the previous episodes for the breakdown on these brilliant battery indicators, awesome weather widgets, custom clocks, and the basics of KWGT manipulation. But if you're after my live wallpapers, the link for those are going to be in the description below. Now that we've got that out the way, let's get into the music widgets. As we're creating each one, we're going to be building upon the last, starting from a very basic setup and ending in a more complex one. Now in order to follow this tutorial, you're going to need KWGT Custom Widget Maker and its Pro Key. So let's kick things off by making ourselves this stylistic music widget. Simply just load in a KWGT layout to your home screen. Personally, I always go with a 4x4 layout and then adjust it as I need to. Now simply tap on it to open the widget maker and hit new. So now that we have our blank canvas, let's start by first loading in a simple shape. This is what we're going to use to display the album art as well as be the general backdrop for the widget. So let's head into the newly added shape item and increase its size. And because we're using a square, as we increase its width, the height will automatically increase in proportion. After which, let's also round off the edges using the cornering option. And once you're happy, let's head over to the effects tab and assign the cover art to the shape. For this, just simply change the texture option to bitmap. Next, using the tick boxes, select bitmap and then click on the count clear icon which appears in the top right corner. Now simply add in the formula that I'm showing on screen within the bitmap section. Once done, regardless of the type of media playing on your phone, its available album art will be shown within our square shape. Finally, let's add a bit more functionality to the backdrop. Let's have it play and pause our media through the touch section. Just add in a new touch action and set this to music controls. Once done, make sure it's specified to play or pause. Now that we have the backdrop sorted, let's add in the next and previous buttons. For these, we're going to be using font icons. Just head within and make sure to change the set to in typo and the icons to something that you like. To find the ones that I used, just search here for controller. Now that we have the aesthetics out of the way, let's reposition the item to the bottom right of the album cover. And finally, let's head into the touch section and assign it once more with music controls. But this time, we're going to make sure it triggers the action next. Now, let's repeat these steps, adding in a second font icon, this time for the back button. But for this one, make sure to assign it the action previous. And finally, wrapping up this widget are two text items. One for the media title and the second for the artist name. The code for both of these are on screen now. Just resize and reposition them to the bottom of the widget. And before you leave, make sure you hit save. Now for the second widget, this contemporary shaped setup. For this, we're once again going to load in a square shape and assign it with the album art just as we did in the previous widget. Except this time, we're going to load in a second shape, a rectangle, which we're going to enlarge and round off the corners before heading to the paint tab and adding some color. Now here, to make it a bit more subtle, let's use the effects tab to add a radial gradient. Feel free to play around with the sliders until you get to something that you like. Next, 
let's push this item to the back of the widget. Just simply drag it from the bottom of the item list to the top, just as I'm showing here. Now just like the first widget, let's add in the next and back buttons. For this, we're once again using font icons. However, this time, we're going to head into the font icons effects section and we're going to change the texture settings to bitmap. And here, we're going to follow the same steps as before to apply the album cover art, this time to the arrow. And to add a nice vintage feel, let's also apply the filter CPR. Now repeat these steps for the back arrow and remember to assign both of them with the music controls within their touch sections. Now the final part of this widget is the media progress bar. For this, just add in a new progress item. And using its positioning section, let's reposition it to the bottom of the widget. And of course, feel free to resize it to fit in with your look. Next, let's customize the bar color to match. Just simply change the FG color settings. Now to make it fit in with the rest of the widget, let's round off the edges. For this, we're going to add in a new shape. Make sure to change it from the default square to a rectangle and then resize it to match the dimensions of the media progress bar. Now reposition it so it's perfectly covering the progress bar. And next, we're actually going to bring the progress bar in front by simply dragging it to the bottom of the item list. Now within the progress bar, make sure you head to the color section and change the filter to multiply. This means that only sections of the progress bar that overlaps with other items will be visible. And this is why we needed to add that new rectangular shape behind it. Now when we're adjusting the rectangles cornering settings, it will also be adjusting the progress bars. Now before we forget, let's head back into the progress bar and change the progress type from showing the default battery to music playtime. Now as you're playing any type of media on your phone, this bar will automatically be filling up. And just like that, you got another unique setup. Now I do have two more stylistic music widgets to share with you guys. But sadly, I'm going to have to include them as a part 2 to this episode, which as soon as it's out, I'll be linking right here for you guys. But to make sure you guys don't miss it, and to help support the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, and make sure to check out my other Android customization videos. And I'll see you guys in part 2 of KWGT Custom Music Widgets on Into the Parkiverse.